Thanks everybody for watching this tutorial, this course on installing, uh, setting up Commvault version 11, setting up the media agent, setting up the uh, file, uh, the storage policy, a couple different troubleshooting things, and um, you know it's going to be a great, great course. So I uh, hope you enjoy it. So we're going to get started just here, and we're going to download the Commvault uh, version 11 right now. So we. You're at commvault.com, of course, C-O-M-M-V-A-U-L-T.com. Click on the free trials tab. You're presented with two options. First is the Commvault trial. Second one is the VMware or, or VM backup and recovery. We are going to select the Commvault trial. And, and what's the difference, right? So the Commvault trial is the one that you install um, your, you can install your Windows servers, uh, the, the media agent on Windows server, Linux box, whereas the VM backup and recovery is essentially that. It's a, a VSA agent, so a virtual server agent. Yeah, that's right, virtual server agent. Its major function is to back up the VM, uh, the VMs, like a VMware VM, or the hypervisor. Um, by Microsoft. Okay, let's go back to our free trial. Oh, we're going to click on the start your 30 day trial. You're going to put your information in there, um, your email, click on the uh, acknowledge and click on download my trial. So what you're going to see is you're going to see this, this file here. It's a like 20 meg or something like that. You're also going to get an email uh, with a code. Let's show you that. Okay, so from here, you're going to see an email from Commvault. What's cool about this is they give you a, um, a click on, they give you a video on how to install it, right? Which is nice. So, yeah, it's kind of nice. But um, the good thing about this email, right, is you're going to get, you know, if they want to talk about information in the future, about, uh, and so they, they can send you emails on their product updates and whatnot. So it's kind of nice for them to, uh, for, for that to have that so your email and this activation code are critical because they're going to come into play when you install combo version 11 it's going to prompt you um, along the way to put the use uh, the email you you signed up with and then the that activation code about two days later you're going to get an email and it's going to ask you um, to basically register your account essentially right it's going to give you a link to you've already uh, since of you've already downloaded the the version of Commvault the install version but it's going to give you a link anyway to cloud.commvault.com to do just that and then also about a week less than a week after that you're going to get a welcome to Commvault account which is going to give you access to the ma.commvault website which gives you access to the other features it has, such as is it putting up a ticket or creating an incident, whatnot. Um, so first things first, we're going to go to the cloud.ma, rather cloud.commvault.com website. It's important to note that your ma.commvault.com account and your cloud.commvault.com account are two different logins. This site this uh, cloud.commvault.com website, you are, since, um, the thing is, we're going to click on uh, media kits, and I just want to show you something real quick. If you wanted to vert, download the version 10, Commvault version 10 in its entirety, you would click on Commvault v10, and then you just download it here. It's whole the whole entirety of uh, Commvault version 10. For our case, we're, I'm going to show you the, kind of click on Enterprise Kits, and then you have the different service packs. Now, obviously, these are small files. You see, this is what we actually are currently downloading now. But if, for instance, you wanted service pack 11, 10, down to uh, version, what, service pack 6, it appears, you could do that as well. The other thing where um, to, to note here is you can download the you can download the whole kit and caboodle for Commvault 
version 11 service pack 12 that's 10 10 gig and that's actually what we're going to do because we're going to we're going to install Commvault two different ways first way is to do it the way very you install this uh, this package here is 21 meg it takes you to steps the other way is we're going to do it as a standalone basically uh, not the actual com serve but the actual media agents and the clients we're going to install that way so in this case we've already actually installed the service pack 12 we already have that queued up uh, and then we're just going to download this here uh, version 11 service pack 12 media kit zip it's 10 gig it's going to take a while so uh, we're going to just download it and then come back after it's done so now that we've downloaded this we're going to actually go and proceed with our installation using this 21 meg uh, file which is going to prompt us to install Commvault the ComServe if you will actually so I'll see you in the next video if you like this video and you want to see more please jump on to my course which is I have two courses one is at getajobnit.teachable.com and the other course is on Udemy it's learn backup and restore with Commvault get a high paying job you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel just type in Gary McNeely or Commvault Whisperer there's some good content there related to this if you would could you click on the subscribe button and click on notifications thank you very much